Shalom, I'm going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash, um, that were honors to the apostles at Great Millstone, the blessings and honors to um, the brothers in this truth, you know, spreading it, spreading this word of righteousness. Uh, let me pause that. Esau strikes back. You, you keep it going, number one, by, the, by all these white people wearing these Black Lives Matter stuff. And then you get the black people to start, then you get the black people to I don't to film, it's a public place. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, yeah, so you have no reasonable expectation of privacy in a public place according to the Supreme Court. Just because you're gay, you can say all this. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually, so I'm actually a pastor in a church and we can't be gay, so. Yeah, yeah, so. That's right. No, I'm a, I'm, a met, I'm a Methodist. I don't know if that's what you just asked. But. I, I preach I preach on I, I preach on messages of justice. Before black. Thank you for what? Before black. All lives matter before black. Now say something. Well, there you have it. Black lives matter. Yeah, fuck you, stupid bitch. Okay. I'll beat you and your dad up. Okay. 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 I mean, if you do it, it'll yeah. be a felony assault. Really? Yes, actually. Game motherfucker. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's cool. What if you fall? Walking in here, so you best walk out. What if you That's fall, you motherfucker? I mean, this is where my ancestors are buried. I, I'm not, am I not allowed to be here? No. I swear. I'm in the door. 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 Well, when they're saying Black Lives Matter organization is a terrorist organization. Yeah, yeah. Okay. the guy go. Yeah, yeah. 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 If I, if I walk into a Black Lives or an Antifa rally, I'm going to sit out and walk out of here, okay? I, I mean, I went to plenty of rallies. I never got beat up. I know you're not in this rally, but if I walk into a Black Lives Why would they beat you up? I never got beat up. Why are you here? Uh, I came, I came here? here to visit my ancestors' grave. Which one? John Akers. He's in Pennsylvania. Plot D. What's your name? Trent Soames. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want. Now, and you got relatives here. I do. You want me to take you to the grave? Well, what are your hands? I was on my way out. I just walked around the whole cemetery. Sir? Yeah. Sir, why are you wearing that shirt though? I didn't know this was going on. I just had this on. Well, there you have it. Sounds like a game to me, you know. Why are you wearing that shirt? You know, he has a Black Lives Matter shirt on. And they attacked him. Why you got that shirt on, man? All lives matter before black. I mean, that's Esau showing his true feelings, you know. And what Esau doing is he's waging war. You know, I mean, this is prophecy coming to pass in front of our eyes, you know. Esau is preparing for that war, you know. And they ready to fight, you know. And Jake is ready to fight too. And then you have the righteous Jake, the, the hopefully elect. The 144,000 hopefully elect in the one third that's fighting a spiritual war, you know, you know, keeping the law, statutes and commandments, going out there telling our people who they are, you know, doing the work on the highways and byways. We ain't going to pick up no weapons. You know, we not going to be carnal. We're not going to fight physically, but we are in a war, a spiritual war. You know, we condemning this man exposing his lies while he's trying to cover it up and then you got our people that's going to be led out there to the physical fight and you got Esau Edom that's going to meet them so there you see it you know like the man said he said all lives matter before black and then he told him he would beat him up just because he was wearing a black lives matter um shirt imagine if it said an Israelite lives matter shirt you know they're showing their true hate when this thing first started popping off, many people were like, no, nah, the people are just tired and mad. This ain't a race thing. You see blacks, whites, and all type of different races out there together protesting and rioting. Well, now the data started to settle down. The true colors are coming out. And now what you see? Well, you see a whole bunch of so-called white, so white men, which are Esau Edom, standing around 
um, pretty much waging war. And then, you know, in another video I uploaded, you got the black uh, militia group out there. The Israelites that are saying and know that they are Israelites saying that they ready with their with their um swords in their hand. That's prophecy. Joel chapter three, verse nine. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. You know, and that applies to today. You know, all the Gentiles are going to prepare a war and they're going to prepare it against Jake, against Israel to try to take us out. You know, let all the men of war draw near and let them come up. You know, um, verse 10, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourself and come all ye heathen and gather yourself together round about thither because the mighty ones cause the mighty ones to come down O Lord let the heathen be um, weakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about and you know that's talking about Yahweh Shai that's going to bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and all the heathen are going to fight. But the same way that the heathen are going to come through with their armies to fight against Yahweh Shai, they're coming through against Yahweh Shai people, which are the Israelites. Which this is an example. This is just on the lower end. You know, if that's the top level war that's going to go down in Jehoshaphat, in the valley of Jehoshaphat, well, this is just on the lower end. You know, then he say man should be against man pretty much on every level. You know, this is Second Address, chapter 16, verse 40. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to battle. And in those evils, be even as pilgrim upon the earth. So we know when the martial law comes and kicking people out of their house, putting people in FEMA camps, you might have to go into the wilderness. You might have to be like a pilgrim on this earth. But it's more to that verse. It says, oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to battle. What does that mean? Make you ready to battle. What does it mean? Well, it, it's in every single way. You know, you're going to battle spiritually. Your spirit's going to be tested on the hour of temptation. You're going to battle mentally so you don't bug out trying to, you know, be strong mentally so you don't end up, you know, suicide or bugging out for from the things that you're about to see. Um, even physically, you got you're gonna have to get ready to battle because even though it's not for us to pick up a weapon or be carnal, they might come after you. And if they come after you, well, you're gonna defend yourself. You know, if you have to. You know, if you're put in that position, you're not going to seek after it. But if you put in that position, which a lot of our people are going to be put in that position, you know. So it says, um, read it one more time. Second address, chapter 16, verse 40. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to battle. That's talking about one thirds and two thirds. They're talking about all of the Lord's people. So, you know, this is prophesied to happen. And our people are getting ready to battle. All people are getting ready to battle. And we are getting ready to battle in which way? Not cornerly. But spiritually, you know, we remember the precepts, we learn them, we go out there on the highways and byways, we teach our people who they are. If a person comes up to challenge the truth, we um we defend the truth. That's in the book of um which one is that close to Revelations? Jude, defending the truth, defending the gospel, you know. So we out there we before all this stuff happened, we was already on the highways and byways battling. We was all already, you know, um, pretty much shooting down false philosophies and doctrines and, you know, telling our people the correct way and the truth. You know, that's a form of battling. So and the biggest battle, you know, ba battling those demons and those spirits and sin, you know, which which the yeah, is able to overcome all those things through a battle. And now we're, we're going to be able to overcome all those things through Yahweh Shai. You know, but this just Esau striking back, man. It's going to get a lot worse or a lot bigger during these days because this is prophecy. It, even though we're not supposed to be carnal and doing and doing these things, it is prophecy that it's going to happen, you know, with the two thirds of our people and with the other nations. They are going to fight physically, you know, but 
the ones that are, that's on the right path that know what they're supposed to do. What the book of um Peter talk about, the book of First John talk about, you know, getting your spirit right, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, they know what they're supposed to be doing. The Lord got everybody where He want them at, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Everybody that heard this truth, everybody that heard this word by now. You know, so so the Lord got all his pieces where where he need them to be at for the end for him to bring the end. Finally, you know, Shalom, salvation to the elect.